reason I live in Vancouver. The reason I live in Vancouver is there's so, awesome. there's so many trails you can buy. Vancouver's Vancouver's Vancouver. Vancouver. My family loves Vancouver. I moved to Vancouver. It's a great place to raise a family. Like there's so much family love. It's an awesome Vancouver. city because my family I loves love Vancouver. Vancouver because it's home for me. I grew up in Vancouver. My family is primarily still here. Both my wife and I, our parents were here, and, and so the grandparents for our children. And we know it's a nice community. We know it's a nice place to grow up, and the schools are great. And uh, there's a lot of uh, quality of life here that, that isn't in other cities, especially larger cities. But that's what brought us back. We, I, was, I was hungering for a community living in Los Angeles. I, I didn't think uh, commiserating with coworkers about the traffic on the 405 was really a community and there's a lot of aspects to living here that you don't get in other places. My name is Dan Wyatt. I'm the owner operator of the Kagan's Theater in downtown Vancouver. I was born and raised in a small town in the Midwest in a little place called Quincy, Illinois, uh, which is a great place to grow up as a kid and a great place to grow old. But when you hit about 18, you kind of want to go somewhere else. So I ended up going to uh, Chicago and went to film school which led to working for the Chicago International Film Festival. Um, and then while I was doing video di distribution, I met my soon-to-be wife over the telephone. And sort of on a whim, we moved out here with um, two dogs, two cats, and a moving van and no jobs. And um, sort of settled down and has since made the Northwest our home. My name is Richard Beer, and I'm the Director of Programming and Marketing for the Kagan's Theater in Vancouver, Washington. I think the people in Vancouver are the most supportive people I've ever been around. Um, I've lived in a number of cities and this city just steps up and it's like this small town within a big town and people like to work together. If you need anything, all you have to do is put it out there and people show up. My name is Leah Jackson. I own Niche Wine Bar and Angst Gallery. So the King's Theatre opened up in 1936 and was uh, continually running movie house for decades and decades. And by the time that the, with the turn of the century, movies had evolved, Kagan's had become more of a uh, double feature, second run or sub run house as they call them. Um, the years were not kind to it. It had gotten run down physically as a physical space. And in 2011, it closed and the building owner at the time uh, took a big leap of faith and remodeled the building himself. A lot of volunteer help in, in the community in Vancouver came out and, and helped with that. And so what I thought was probably going to be closer to a million dollar project ended up being a little less than half that with all the volunteer help and ingenuity and, and love of the community. And then in 2012, about six months later after the Kiggins reopened as the new Kiggins Remodel Theater, uh, I took over and uh, remodeled the programming. Uh, started bringing in more independent film, art house fair, doing live events, community oriented events. Uh, whatever was creative or something somebody could dream up, I was willing to give it a shot. Dan purchased the Kiggins Theater from Bill. Dan came in and was friendly as could be and um, is very enthusiastic about film and very enthusiastic about Vancouver. So it was easy to want to collaborate. Since I began four years ago, we started off with having just occasional private rentals, a fundraiser here and there, or um, a local event. Um, but we've become one of the best places for people to do their events. Everything from our uh, bi-monthly Hello Vancouver, which is a live talk show, to a monthly comedy show that we do. We have at least a dozen different community events that are either private rentals or fundraisers for organizations. So we're beginning to be known as this place to do alternative and cultural events that aren't big enough for a large venue or don't want to go to somewhere like uh, a hotel. They want something personal, they want something that involves film. Um, and I think we offer a charm and a flexibility that a lot of places don't offer that way. So we, on any given day, will go from one day having an obscure foreign film to the next day having a magic show for kids. And so every day is a little bit different. We keep the variety going at all times. As the owner of the Kiggins, I like to encourage and I like to see creative things happen. We are in the Arts District. Uh, the Kiggins Theater is in the, the center of that Arts District. Um, and the arts is a broad term. What is art? I like to broaden it a little bit because not everybody feels like an artist. but. 
people are naturally creative and they enjoy creative works. So you may not be a painter or a musician, but you can certainly be creative. And so I look at Kiggins as a multifunctional space where you can come and be creative. We like to collaborate with different community partners. We've got a, you know, a talk show that is about Vancouver. There's interviews, there's musical guests. There's things we can do and, uh, and facilitate in the community that helps contribute to the arts, quote unquote. It may not be a painting or a sculpture, but if the Kiggins is involved or is at the heart of that, I mean geographically at the heart of that, I'd also like to be the kind of the sort of theoretical center or the emotional center of that too, where we can facilitate and allow creativity to happen. So Richard, who is Dan's film guy, um, and I started collaborating on this project about film noir and Pinot Noir. The film and wine pairing nights, so we picked three to begin with. The idea is a lot of people have had uh, Pinot Noir from the Willamette Valley and it's fantastic, but Pinot Noir is so much more than just what comes out of the Willamette Valley. So we decided with the film noir that I would focus on the area where the plot takes place. So for instance, the first uh, film noir piece we're doing is Notorious and it takes place in South America. So I will be serving three South American Pinot Noirs. Our first film is Notorious, where uh, wine or the drink is a prominent piece of the storytelling. And serve the two together and hopefully bring two crowds together, the wine crowd that maybe doesn't know how to appreciate film and, and likewise people that are cinema goers that maybe don't know anything about wine and, and, and for whatever reason isn't accessible to them. Well, we can make it both accessible to, to either side. We have Science on Tap, which is a very accessible, not super academic lecture about any of the sciences. It could be biology, it could be neurology. Uh, one of the other topics I want to develop is we've got a stand-up comedy show that happens here once a month. And I want to see if possibly partnering with the breweries and creating a comedy on tap where we could have a featured Vancouver brewer and along with our feature comics. So this will be a compliment to our noir nights where we're pairing wine and film. Well, we can pair beer with stand-up comics. Over the years, there have been a lot of studies done that prove that a vital downtown is what keeps the city alive. And at the heart of those are often movie theaters. Movie theaters since the very beginning have been the place where everyone gathered. Uh, you don't go to a theater usually and not find restaurants, wine bars, art galleries, other things around. Well, one thing I've noticed uh, since opening my business is that people in Vancouver are very tightly knit. People like to spend time together and do things. Um, I think it's just one more opportunity to go out and, and support local business and hang out with your friends, do something new. So I think we have a culture here. I think that uh, the more that starts to happen, in a, in a small location, centralized, uh, the more opportunity people have to come downtown and just hang out the whole evening or the whole day. So we have a lot going on here already, so I for one think we have culture and identity. Vancouver and the downtown community have an opportunity to contribute to the, the artistic culture, the creative culture, and just the vitality, the general economic vitality to downtown. You know, we've seen a resurgence in the you know, idea of keeping Main Street businesses, small businesses alive. And I think the same applies to, you know, if we want to see a film culture or a creative media culture, that that's something you have to be intentional about.